In this video, we're going to look at a coordinate graph, and we're going to look at it with a circle centered at the origin, and we know one point on the circle, and that will help us figure out the radius. So what I mean is, let's say I have a circle right here. This is my estimation. And it's centered at the origin, and of course, all that really means is that the center of the circle is here, at 0, 0, or the origin. And maybe we know there's a point right here. Let's label that point as 3, 4. The question is, what's the radius of this circle? Well, remember, the radius is just the distance from the center of the circle to any point on the circle, right? From here to here, or here to here. Um, but since we know this exact point right there, why not connect a line to that point? Okay, that's the radius. And the question is, how do we use this point to find that distance? Well, the great thing is, with 3, 4, we know that to get from the origin up to this point, we get to go over 3 and then up 4 to get there. And we can think of that path as a right triangle with one leg here of 3 and another of 4. So now this distance, this radius, is just the hypotenuse of a right triangle with one leg of 3 and one leg of 4. So let's use the Pythagorean theorem, which says that if you square one leg A, add to the square of another leg, you get the square of the hypotenuse. And then to find the length, just take the square root of C squared. And that'll give us the radius. So A is 3, so 3 squared is 9 b is 4, so 4 squared is 16, and c squared is the sum of these two, which is 25. And c is the square root of that. So c equals the square root of 25, and that's just 5. And this is a great introductory problem into trigonometry concepts and something called a unit circle. I encourage you to look ahead and, and check out unit circles. They're quite useful uh, in many different fields. All right, thanks.